it's Carol Matoza and today I'm going to show you how I organize not only my greeting farm stamps but all of my stamps but with a focus on the greeting farm because let's face it they're my favorite and not just because I'm a little bit biased being on the design team but literally the greeting farm stamps have been my favorite for years as you can tell by my collection it's a little much so here, this entire section right here is just the greeting farm. And then over there, I have my other stamps. And I just find that having them out on display like this, on this bar, makes them easy to see, easy to use, because I can just grab them, flip through them real quick. Um, I just find that it's a lot easier than keeping them in the drawer. I do have stamps in two different drawers as well. And I'll show you those in another clip in the same video. But uh, for the most part, these are the ones that I reach for the most. So let's focus on the greeting farm stamps. Here's how I organize these. Um, this is a bar and clip set that I got at Ikea. It's quite inexpensive and you can always buy extra packs of those. Those are called S hooks. Um, I have looked for them in different like hardware stores, they're a little bit hard to find and they don't always fit that same bar. So just grab a pack from Ikea. They come, you know, in bulk. So they're very convenient, very easy to store multiple stamps. Let me stand up here. I'm trying not to. I don't have a tripod right now. Or I have a tripod, but the camera portion is broken. So um, I'll just try to stay steady as I can. These are all of my big sets. So those are the ones with like nine or so stamps in them. I have quite a few of those. Then I have a clip for just the boy girl sets. I have a clip for all of the animals. Um, these are just some random ones like the houses and um, I didn't really know how to categorize, categorize our song so I just put her in with the miscellaneous stamps. I also, as you will see, have a thing for the Miss Anya set. So we've got hats off and lounge and scarves, summer, garland, etc. And then I actually needed two clips for the Miss Anyas. Anytime a Miss Anya set comes out, I'm on it. So these are my individual ones that I call uh, the ones with sass. <laughs> That's how I categorize these. They are stamps like... Uh, Madden, uh, Evie from the Secret Stamp Club, Wednesday, Siren, Tuesday, the ones with Attitude. Those are also some of my all-time favorites. So then I have one clip here for all of my different Anyas. Surfer Anya is one of my all-time favorites. And then there's another clip, as you see, it's pretty filled with just individual Anyas as well. This is the first greeting farm stamp I ever, ever purchased. And I remember I saw her, and I don't know how long ago this was. Um, it was years ago. And at that time, uh, we didn't have quite as much money. We had just bought a house. We had just gotten married. Uh, things were tight. And buying one stamp was like, I was like, oh, wow. Like my scrapbooking room was not what it is t today seven years later or whatever it was and let me see looks like it says 2010 yeah so at that point you know i mean now i don't even blink at buying a stamp but at the time i was like gosh do i want to spend that much on a stamp and not that they were expensive it was just at that time it was a little bit uh frivolous and i just hemmed and hawed and i was like i just I, that stamp is so cute i just want her and i broke down and i bought it and it was a big deal and um obviously we have more money now so <laughs> i have i have a lot more a lot more stamps but yeah i have a special place in my heart for her because she is my very first greeting farm stamp it was such a big deal to me at that time um and these are also all individual onions and then these are my cheekies. Um, I also have digital stamps, but obviously those don't need to be um, displayed. And these are my individual Ian's and uh, Surfer Ian, also one of my all time favorite stamps. So those are all my stamps by Greeting Farm. I'm going to um, open up the drawers in a separate little clip 
and show you how I how I store some of my other stamps. But you know, those ones aren't quite as important. But shh, don't tell anybody. Okay, I'll be right back. All right, so I have recollections cubes all over my room, and one of them holds my clear stamps. And these are just basically ones that I really rarely reach for, but I don't want to get rid of them for whatever reason. And I just have them organized. They're just a piece of paper with a label. Birthday, fall and Thanksgiving, Christmas, Valentine's, etc. Food and drinks. And, you know, I'm not willing to part with them, but, you know, they're just in there. So, let me show you another drawer. The last place that I have my stamps is this drawer here, again in another Recollections Cube. And this is just a drawer. And, um, again, I'm not willing to get rid of these yet. I barely, I barely really touch this drawer, um, except for my handmade by Carol Matilda. And, um, it's got my old email address, which I think I... Yeah, I cut the, my old email address off because I don't even use that one anymore. But it's got my blog on there and my YouTube channel. So I do use that still. And then, you know, I have some other stamps. And they're just in the drawer like that. I like this one, but it doesn't stamp very well. I'm kind of Starbucks obsessed. Got some foxes and some little sarcastic things in there and such. And, you know. But again, this is a drawer that I barely use, or stamps that I barely use. It's uh, the ones that are on the hanger are the ones that have the most use for me. Okay, so I hope that you enjoyed seeing how I store my stamps. I'd love to see how you store yours or hear about it. If you want to leave me a comment, that would be awesome. And that's it. Have a great day, everyone.